Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be playing some Kona. Hope you guys enjoy this playthrough of Kona. North Quebec, October 1970. Our information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton. A rich industrialist had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Let's make sure that... Are we on... But if we're all that ultra, then... Crank that up. That one's 64 hertz. so much better now they had set up to meet at the general store his client's business well actually the entire let's actually turn off name written all over it in game off there we go let's turn our frame thingy on frame counter off cuz right now we don't actually need it Holy shit, we can get going in this little fucking truck. position if I was an able and aerial when the roads were bad muddy or snowed in it was customary around these parts to close them off but it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway Rest star. You know, I still think this game looks freaking amazing. Isn't it like E to inspect? How often does a road need to be closed to require two picnic tables at its gate? Hmm. I would say not very many. Grab the bottle. We might need it. Run up here once. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird to run up a freaking <laughs> thingy, but oh well. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to reestablish uh. the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, Ooh. taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. That's nice we get the bull cutters and stuff. It's way cool. Oh, we can't dial the phone, but we can get the thingy brochure. Hmm. 
We'll read that in post. You can pause it if you want to read it. Can I not dial the phone? Apparently not. What? Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it painted here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise him. R attention wrote. Attention wrote. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Ah, that freaking truck is loud. Holy sh Nikes. Then enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forest. Oh. Not too far from here. <laughs> the local populace was divided when it came to the affluent men. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those were him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Ooh. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man. Ooh. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. I guess we're gonna crash. and the pain required urgent care. You know, it's Kona. Bro, I thought we were supposed to get in, get our truck. Unstuck. Bro, we're gonna fucking freeze oh, out here. On, he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. It was a small block box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. You're not opening the thingy? Picture of someone. Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry that was. But Carl didn't care much about flowery language. No one. Country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. This way? Saw the Tama pack. Let's go in the house here. But oh, man, I do kind of like the, um, oh, I don't have wood. We got matches. Even better than he had hoped. 
Carl Fobert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. What? I don't have Ooh, any. Turned into pain. Carl needed to find someplace warm. Yeah, Carl, we'll get to your truck again. So are we supposed to go start a fire in there or not? I'm confused. Because you can't pick up any of these branches. Unless you can take the wood from here. Get as much of it as possible. Let's start a fire. Arm Mr. Carl up. Journal, map, documents, inventory. Cursors, log. Consumables. First aid kit. Is Mr. Carl warm now? There, Mr. Carl should be warm now, in theory. No, I think we can lay the rest of the log chains. Oh, okay. Thank you, whatever. Oh, it's doing it itself. Jesus. It's cold out. Oops. It's like driving itself, for God's sake. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, Steven region. Growing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was... Manistan. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. I hope we're not, we're, hope we're not supposed to go in that way. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Thank you, Mr. Audible Thing. Mr. Audible Overlayer Guy. Oh no. Yeah, Carl had to refuel at some point. Oh my god! Carl had no trouble recognizing his employee. He had been killed, 
There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. Jesus. Only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. That's a... Keep that picture. Close the door. Are you serious? Um. Hmm. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Hmm. Don't even travel half the province of Quebec to come here. This place is a mess. There it is. Fucking is everyone. Turn equipment. We'll save the game here. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kona, and we'll be and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more content like this, please subscribe. If you guys want to see more Kona videos, please leave a like on the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a, a good rest of your, you know, day, week, and whatever. Whatever this video comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching.